Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, everyone. Dr. Jace Attorney here back with surprisingly another live reaction to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Um, I don't know what this trailer is. Uh, Bandai Namco of America posted it on their YouTube channel. It's called Sp Dragon Ball Sparking Zero The Moment Trailer. Um, I don't know what's in this. Uh, I don't know because it's only like 45 seconds. So realistically, the actual video is probably 30 seconds. Um, for all I know, it's... Uh, I don't know, like a collage of characters or something to showcase how crazy the game's going to be. Um, or maybe they have another character reveal. I, I really doubt it. But I heard some people like, you know, getting really excited with this trailer. I, it, but I, I kept away from it to be like, no, no, no. Let me just open up the page. Let me just, you know, start recording right away and see what the hell this even is. Um, so I'm, I'm going in with like very low expectations. But at the same time, I'm like, what did they show that made people like freak out in any way? Um, again, it's only like 30 seconds. So let's not waste any more time. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed the video or, you know, the content that we're putting out there, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. It helps the channel a lot more than you know. Click the subscribe button as well. But most importantly, click that bell icon because, again, when Sparking Zero comes out, it's it's you, you need to be there. You need to be there when we start going in with Sparking Zero. So, okay, let's not waste any more time. Uh, whatever the hell this is, the moment trailer, uh, playing in three, two, one, ba bam. You've been waiting for this moment. I have. Challenge accepted. Is this tsunami? No, stop. This is a tsunami special. You're dealing with the proud prince of all Saiyans. I will defeat you. Dude. The time is now. That okay, no, that th that was that was Chris. That was Chris. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, is there is there anything else? Is there anything else? I I I'm I'm assuming there isn't. I'm assuming there isn't. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, there's nothing. Just the versions to make sure you pre-order, right? Um, okay. I mean, okay. It's, it's not a character reveal or anything, but they, they made a Toonami trailer with Chris Sabat, Christopher Sabat, void narrating the, the trailer as if it's a Toonami special. Dude, guys, guys, we're going to watch this again. I'm, I'm, oh my, I, oh my God. This didn't even re reveal anything. Nothing about the game modes, nothing about the characters, but this for at least uh, people in the West that grew up on Toonami in the early to mid 2000s, late 90s, this is like a, a bow and arrow to the heart, man. Oh my God. Play it one more time. Play it one more time from the top. You've been waiting for this moment. Challenge accepted. You're right, Chris. The time is now. I the the way I knew it was tsunami was the as soon as the music started playing. Th that's where the first eyebrow was raised. Where I'm like, this is new. They they never played this type of music before for Sparking Zero. And then as they started doing like collages of like different lines from all the characters, that's where I'm like, God, oh oh no. Now now they're being obvious with it. This was so. This was so good. This was so good. I just, oh man, this was phenomenal. I, and again, guys, it was nothing new. They, they did not showcase anything in this episode. I'm sorry, in this video outside of like, hey, do, do you want to be a little bit more hype for the game? Bam, here's a Toonami special. This, the, the lead up to Sparking Zero, I feel like needs to be studied. Uh, by other game developers and even just, you know, not just Japanese developers, game developers in general, where this is like superb marketing. Uh, surprising enough, they've done more marketing for this goddamn game than, than Dragon Ball Daima, which is hilarious. Um, but the marketing for this game is just crazy. I've never seen 
I've never seen a marketing campaign for a game leading up to its release be so successful and hitting all the right notes. I, I'm telling you guys, if, if we go into Sparking Zero and if for whatever reason, which I really doubt, but if for whatever reason, Sparking Zero Day One does not deliver on any of the promises that, that it made, I can never go into a game trusting it again because I'm a very cautious buyer when it comes to day one purchases of games, especially for within the last like decade or so. There's very few games that I'll buy day one. Um, just because you guys know how the game industry is now. If you, if you play a lot of video games, you know the state of the game industry, and it's it's just not trustworthy in the slightest. It's all based on marketing and hype campaigns, and especially when it comes to anime games. Like, anime games are a dime a dozen. Um, and w when it comes to those particular games, they'll have some mild hype going into them, and then after release, it's like, okay, yeah, you guys bought the game already. We're on to the next one. This one does not seem like that. This seems like they are going to make the definitive Tenkaichi, the ultimate Tenkaichi. I don't care what that fraud says uh, from back in, I, I, I don't remember what year it was, 2011, 2012, ultimate Tenkaichi. That game was a fraud. This is the ultimate Tenkaichi. They did it. Everything in this campaign, this marketing they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to do this. And the fact that they're doing it just screams how much they care. You have to understand, this trailer doesn't appeal to anyone inside their main dem uh, demographic, which is the Japanese market. At the end of the day, Bandai Namco wants a global success, but their main demographic is the 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 Japanese marketplace. Doing a trailer like this, now to be fair, it is the Bandai Namco of America page that posted this, so there's that. But at the end of the day, they have no, they have zero interest in trying to uh, make a video like this because Toonami was not a thing, or at least to my knowledge, it was not a thing that was crazy in Japan. It was mainly a Western appreciate uh, appreciation. Um, and, and it's what got a lot of us introduced into anime, into, into Dragon Ball. That, that's how we got introduced into Dragon Ball was from Toonami. Now, I know some people saw the VHS tapes and all that stuff, you know, before Toonami was a thing. I get that. But in terms of like broader appear, broader appeal and general audiences, it was Toonami. Toonami was how most people got first exposed to Dragon Ball. And they literally made a Toonami special. And funny enough, they gave the biggest quote to Vegeta right here where he says this line. Uh, You're dealing with the proud prince of all Saiyans. I will oh. beat you this day. Which is funny because um, uh, <laughs> the, the main Toonami special, because back in the day, Toonami used to do all these intros for different animes. They, they, they did it for Yu Yu Hakusho. They did it for Zoids. Uh, Zoids. They did it for Zoids. They did it for Dragon Ball, obviously. And one of the big ones I remember from Toonami was it ended with Vegeta uh achieving super saiyan against uh, android 19 and he says something like i am the prince of all saiyans once again and then and then it ends right there so i find it funny that you know sean gets the big lines in this right here because other characters say some stuff like here let me see They get they get like a couple lines here and there, but Vegeta specifically gets like the big sentence. Right here. You're dealing with the proud prince of all Saiyans. I will defeat you. He got the biggest one. The time is I just oh man. We're, we're at nine minutes, man. This trailer was literally like all of 30 seconds, and we're here just gushing about it guys i i've not been this hyped for a game in like the better part of like 15 years i'm i'm, I'm not even kidding i'm not even kidding like I, i'm going back through the catalog of games that i have bought day one and just measuring the level of hype i went into those games with and nothing is in comparison to this like i'm sorry that there's not and, and that's why it's going to hurt a lot if they don't deliver. I, I have full hopes that they will deliver on everything because they, they have zero, they, they, gave, they have given me zero reason to not trust them with what they're doing with this game. Um, but God forbid, God forbid if we're in some alternate timeline dimension 
where we go into Sparking Zero day one on October 8th, which again, subscribe, click that bell icon so you're there so that we can we can all go into Sparking Zero together. Um, uh, because, hey, hell, we'll, we'll, we'll probably even play some uh, PvP matches with the audience. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just make sure you subscribe so, so that you're there if we do it. But, um, like, just going into this, if we're in an alternate timeline where, for whatever reason, Sparking Zero is like a, a 2 out of 10 I can never, never in my life trust a game, ever, ever again, ever again, because it's like they, they were doing everything so right with marketing, and then the game is, an, and you know, the game is ass. Now, now who do I trust? Who's going to ever meet the expectations that this game gave from pre-release and then deliver it on day one if they couldn't do it, if Sparking Zero couldn't do it? Who? Who would do it? I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, but again, we're we're excited for the game. We cannot wait for it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I, I guess this video is mainly for the Toonami folks, the the, the guys and and girls and everyone that grew up on Toonami. Did did this did this game tickle your fancy in any way? Because this again, this adds nothing to the game itself, but in terms of just saying hey we see you we we know you're there here's a little treat go have fun with it because you want to know something with the custom battle editing i guarantee you the fans will probably be able to make this stuff i would not be surprised if if, if this was made with the custom battle edit inside the game it probably was um so again like I, i'm telling you guys i'm telling you guys this is going to be an insane game. This was just a little treat, a little a little chocolate kiss in the goodie bag saying, "Hey, here you go. Here you go. Enjoy. We gave you a lot the uh, the, the last several weeks. Here's something else to chew on." This is just great, man. I let me know what you guys think. Was this a nice little present that we got? Um, did you guys grow up on Toonami? What was your favorite shows uh, growing up on Toonami? What, what animes did, uh, did Toonami introduce to you? Uh, for all we know, uh, th there's probably some people in my audience that, you know, maybe it wasn't Dragon Ball that got them introduced to anime from Toonami. Maybe it was, uh, Sailor Moon. Maybe it was Zoids. Uh, please tell me there's more than one Zoids appreciator in the comments down below, please. I, I, I hope I'm not alone in this world, <laughs> uh, for Zoids, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like down below, guys, as well, so that the video gets helped in the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. Click that bell icon, like I said. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Court is adjourned. Dr. Jace Attorney signing off. We'll see you on the next one.